Hi, it's Chester of Blue PKN Computer Training. And in this video, we want to convert text strings into dates. We're going to start off with some fairly basic examples and then move on to some trickier examples. I will leave a table of contents in the description of this video to make navigation easier. So let's start off with two functions, date value and value. Date value, what does it do? converts a date in the form of text to a number that represents a date. So we're expecting a number as an answer. So all I have to do is point at that text string. Now that number is the serial number behind this date. If I change the format of the cell to date, you can see it's now returning that date. It's on the right of the cell, so it is stored correctly as a date. And if I copy this down for the next one, you can see with this one, because I didn't specify a year, it assumes the current year. So I'm in 2021. If I copy it down to here, date value will in fact ignore any time element within your text string, whereas value won't. You'll see that in a moment. So value We'll do something very similar, converts a text string that represents a number to a number. If I point at that date value. Now what I'm gonna do here is actually apply date and time format to the cell. So if I right click and go to format cells, select date in this list, then custom. And in the type box, I can type HH colon MM. Click on OK. So there's no time element in this text string. If I copy it down, you can see that the value function does pick up the time element of this text string. Now, if I was to copy this format over to this column, so I go to my format painter, click into that column, just widen it, you can see that date value doesn't pick up the time element. So that's really the difference between value and date value in this scenario. Now the next method that I'll show you is where you use mathematical operators to convert text strings to dates. So in this column all I've done is added zero to the text string and you can see that it returns the date. I've done the same for these other rows. Interestingly where you have a date and time text string it returns a serial number. Over here I've just multiplied by one, copy that formula down, also divide by one. And here I've used two minus signs and that also converts a text string to a date. Now, if I apply the date format, you can see they are now all dates. What if I apply date and time format? I right click format cells, custom, HH colon MM widen some columns a little bit but you can see it also returns the time element where I have a time element within the text value so these work very similarly to the value function next example we can use paste special what I'll do is I'd select a cell that contains nothing in it and I'd copy it and then I'd select the text strings that I want to convert to dates. Then I go up to home tab on my ribbon, paste, paste special. And the operator I want to use is add. I click on OK. Converts them to date serial numbers. Short date, I have the dates. This example, we've got some dates here that are text values. You can see where we've used a full stop. So if I'm using UK format for dates, I have to use slashes rather than full stops. Now, a really easy way around this would be to use find and replace. So if I select those cells, control H on my keyboard, find what, full stop, replace with a forward slash, replace all. And I have all of my dates as proper dates. Now we could also do this with a formula, substitute. First argument is text. Old text would be a full stop. 
new text would be a forward slash, close the bracket, press enter, copy this down. Then I need to put the results within the value function. Copy this down and I have all my dates. Next example, text to columns. So what I would do is I'd select all my text dates, go to the data tab on my ribbon, text to columns. So you choose delimited here, next. Make sure nothing is selected in the delimiters list. Next, choose how you want your date to be outputted. Day, month, and year is fine for us. Click on finish, converts all the text strings to dates. All right, this is a lot more tricky we have the day of the week, the month of the year, comma, and then the number of the month with TH, ST, or ND at the end. So this is a lot more involved in terms of converting these to dates. Now, the first thing I'd probably do here is use text to columns. So select the text strings, data tab on your ribbon, text to columns, delimited, next. My delimiter is a space in this example. I can look down here at the data preview. It's identified the delimiters properly. Next, I want to export the data to D2. Finish. Now the Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm not interested in at all, but I am interested in these two columns. Now what I want to do is extract the numeric portion of the text strings in this cell. And what I want to do is find out, first of all, whether there are two numbers or one number in each of those text strings. And I could use the mid function to return the second character in each of those cells. So my text is this cell here. Start number is two. The number of characters I want to return is one. If I copy that down, you can see that it returns the second character in each of those text strings. Then I want to convert these text numbers. You can see they're on the left of the cell at the moment. I want to convert them to actual numbers. And to do that, I can use the value function. I'm going to copy that down. You can see I now have a numeric value stored in that cell. Now I need to evaluate whether it's a number. So I can use the isNumber function. And I get my trues and my falses. Then I can say, if this is true, then I want to return the first two characters from the text string. Using the left function, otherwise I want to return the first character only. And if I copy this down, you can see it returns the numeric portion of each of these text strings. So now I have to deal with the month name and I could use the substitute function to get rid of that comma. So I take this text, the old text that I want to get rid of is the comma and I'm going to replace it with an empty text string. So now I get the month names without the commas. So now I'm going to do some concatenation to join this number with this month name and we're going to assume all the dates are in the current year so i'll also add the date to the concatenation so we're going to say take this number here and concatenate it with a space and then the month name and then the year now if i look it's still a text string so i'm going to put it within the value function, but I could also use date value. And that now returns the serial number for our date, which I can then format as a date. And I copy it down and you can see I now have all the dates. Now obviously you could do all this formula in one cell if you wanted to, but I think breaking it down here makes it easier for you to understand. Now lastly, we'll try and do this in Power Query. So what I'm going to do is select my text dates. I'm going to go to Data from Sheet. 
click on OK. So first of all, I want to split columns. So I go up to split column by delimiter. Select or enter delimiter, well, it's a space. So I can just click on OK. I'm going to rename my columns now. I'm going to call that month and that day. Not interested in the first column, so we'll leave that as it is. Now with the day column, we need to get rid of the letters. Now we could create some kind of formula for this, much like the formula we used in our spreadsheet earlier on. But let's look at a different method for this. If we go to transform, I'm going to go to replace values, replace values. I'm going to say get rid of the THs. So TH is replaced with nothing. And I'm going to go to replace values again. ST replace with nothing. Replace values. ND replace with nothing. Now I can do the same with the month to get rid of that comma. So replace values comma replace with nothing. So now I'm going to create a custom column to concatenate the parts of the date together. So add column, custom column, take the day element and concatenate it with a space and then concatenate that with the month element and another space and then concatenate that with the year 2021. Click on OK. So now I can convert this to a date. And I have dates in this custom column. Now I don't want the other columns. So I can right click up here, remove other columns. Home, close and load. And I have my text values converted to dates. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.